It's finally here, guys. Zmod's next gen Scania sounds. Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to ETS2. We've been waiting for this moment. I'm sure there are a lot of Scania Next Gen fans out there. And I'm sure there are a lot of Zmod fans out there. And what happens when you combine the two? Well, you get this entire package. Let's go and hear the engine sounds again. From the exterior first. As always, what can we expect out of Zmod? Only crispy goodness. Give it a few revs. Get an overall feel of how those sound like. And if you try to rev it bit by bit higher and higher, Beautiful. I literally got goosebumps. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Of course, interior sounds are included. Let's go and uh, cut off the engine sound for a bit. So we can focus on different interior sounds here. Crispy. goodness oh my goodness even the windows have their own sounds and of course the air brakes there should be more sounds there I think oh that'll probably trigger later the uh, shifting sounds. There we go. Different variations. Love it. There we go. That's the one. Different uh, air brake sounds. All right. I think we have a good preview of what we can get. But now, of course, let's go for a drive and see how the entire package mixes together. And I'll give my my uh, first impressions as we go we do have low air pressure in here and if we enable the simulation of the uh, where is it air brake simulation then we should hear extra sounds in there as well let me just make sure okay all good there we go let the pressure build up by Revving up a bit here. That's a good excuse to hear the revs from inside. And they do sound properly isolated. If you want more, you can increase the volume. Mine are at maximum right now. In the engine sounds sliders, all three engine sounds are maxed out. You can lower your windows if you want more crispiness. But if you want the muffled goodness of having of that really feeling like you're inside the truck, then having the windows closed is perfect. Alright, we're good. Off we go. Let's hear those uh, parking brake sounds again because those just sound so crispy. <laughs> I don't even know what sound that is, but I like it. Uh, we've been waiting a long time for this, guys. Thank you, Zmod. I do have a bit of a watch out later, but uh, let us let me share that bit by bit. So, this package is available 
in Zmod's uh, selfie page. Is it selfie? Selfie. Probably selfie. Sell with a double L. Okay, of course that guy will not let me go. Neither will that guy. And the sounds are combined with all his other sound mods. Uh, interior sounds. Road noise. Wind noise. All the other noises, which, uh, hmm, to be fair, if it's by Zmod, you probably wouldn't classify it as noise, would you? And it also comes with the freshener. And it should be compatible with all next gen Scania's, whether you're driving with the default or with Eugene's add on. The watch out now entails that because I was actually originally planning on driving today with the Scania P. If you guys remember Eugene Scania, he added a Scania P and a Scania G in there, right? The smaller variants, the smaller cab variants versus the RNS. Oh, that sounds so good. As it revs up and changes gear. It sounds so refined, but at the same time, it has that raw factor in there. Absolutely loving it. Engine brake. Yeah, there we go. That's the engine brake. Include the retarder sound in there. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Am I mimicking it? Am I mimicking it close enough? <laughs> awesome. So yeah, that's the watch out. Um, because even though, and I reported this already, so I expect Zmod will be fixing this soon enough. But if you drive with the Scania PNG, take note, right now in version 1.0, the initial release of the engine sound, it will include the engine sounds, right? But the interiors, the interior sounds, so like the light switches and everything else will not be tweaked. So it will be using the default sounds for the Scania PNG in the interior. You'll still get the engine, but everything else I think is uh, default. So you won't really get the full package yet. That's why instead I resorted to driving the Scania S today. So we get the full benefit, the interior sounds and the engine sounds and the freshener. Because right now even the freshener, it's only compatible with Scania R and S, but not with the PNG. So that's a watch out for you guys who are fond of the smaller cabs. You might not get the full experience just yet. Now when Zmod releases version 1.1 or something of this engine sound, then probably, most likely, that support will be included. Yeah, so hang tight. I'm sure it's a quick fix. Yeah, it's unfortunate that the files are still locked because it would have been super easy to tweak them if you're familiar with the file structure. I'm guessing it's just a matter of some mods not being uh, the definition file for the interior, not referencing the right value, or probably for the Scania PNG, it probably wasn't modified by Zmod. They missed it, is what I'm guessing. So I just need to mimic what they've done for Scania RNS, but for the PNG, and that should be a done deal. Yeah, that should be a quick fix. I'm expecting within a day or so, Zmod will be adding a compatibility for that. So just hang tight. In the meantime, drive with the Scania RNS, okay? So if in case you guys didn't notice, we are somewhere in Sweden. I think we started in Karlskrona, making our way to Gothenburg. Because I do miss driving in Sweden and uh, having a Scania truck. What could be more appropriate than that, right? I also have some other mods which you guys might be wondering. As always, mods list link in the video description. The video description itself details some of the main mods I'm using, but some of you might be curious. So, first and foremost, the phone GPS comes with the ETS2 Cabin Accessories DLC. So that is from the official DLC, okay? Now, if you do that setup, you probably will notice a bit of difference versus what I have here. Number one, 
you will see that you will you won't have a speed limit on the lower right by default yeah it will uh, just it, the gps will be there but there will be no speed limit that's number one and number two we will probably have two gps's because you will have a phone there and you'll have the gps there on the dashboard itself which might not be ideal uh, it's a, one of my pet peeves having dual gps's so i have two mods for you i have two mods that are active right now number one is something you might be familiar with already it's the phone gps um, speed limit for phone gps that i made it's just a quick mod a small mod which enables the speed limit in there now you do need the google maps gps as a prerequisite the google maps gps mod by cinegrit baba over in the steam workshop all, all of this I'm saying is in the mods list, so just check it out under the accessory section, all of them are there. But in case you need more guidance, I'll share a bit more, okay? So put the Google Maps GPS mod. If you're using Pro Mods, make sure to get the Pro Mods version. Yeah, I like the dark mode specifically, that's what you're seeing here. And then the speed limits will be appearing once you enable that speed limit for phone GPS mod. Okay, so that's one problem down. You have the speed limit now on the phone GPS. Problem number two is you still have a GPS there probably. And how I solved that, and this was this happened by accident actually. I should probably incorporate that in my speed limit for phone GPS mod because that makes sense um, but right now you can disable that GPS because some of you might say well you can disable that by looking at your key bindings and uh, looking for the GPS zoom and you can toggle the GPS zoom button that you assign and uh, like that to turn it off but both of them will be off so it's an all or nothing situation can't have one only but not the other unless you have a mod so go and check out the mods list as well look for the Garmin uh, Garmin mod I think it was it by Alexei P oh, nice water there I think it might be but go and add it also to your mods list anywhere would be fine we don't really need the Garmin the GPS itself the Garmin GPS we're not really going to use but that mod has a nice side effect because it disables by default the uh, GPS on the dashboard I think for the default trucks only so that's why that's black but the reason that's dark is because of that Garmin mod the reason why we have the speed limit is because of the speed limit mod so those are the two things that you have to do and then lastly of course the mirrors you might see that it's a lot more narrow field of view easier for parking and whatnot more realistic that one is tr via the true mirror fov okay some of you guys probably know all of this already sorry for the long winded um, stuff but uh, we do get a lot of questions about that every time so i think it would be best to get everyone up to speed right anyway so now we can focus on enjoying the tour again, the new sounds. We'll definitely be streaming with this and we'll be going wherever, but definitely we'll be having this set up for show in tomorrow's stream. We will most likely be having a Truckers MP convoy as well. By the end of May, just give you guys a heads up. Probably, what's the last Friday of May? May 28th, I think it is. But that, that week, the Friday of that week, my usual streaming time for Clumsy Trucking, will probably have, most likely we will be having a, a convoy, an MP convoy. Everyone is invited, everyone is welcome to join, as long as you're not a troll. <laughs> Let's hear the retard right here. Yeah, you can hear it very subtly. Very nice. And when you break, you also hear the retarder sound. 
because I have the auto retarder on when braking option in the gameplay settings. But yes, um, we'll be having a convoy on Friday, May 28th, usual uh, clumsy trucking stream schedule but we'll be having a convoy and in addition we'll be doing a our first ever charity stream guys so feel free to join and feel free to contribute we'll be doing a charity for uh, war child uk they approached me and uh, i've never been active with charities and i think now is a good time to start you know spread the blessings we get to play games while some other people cannot, especially children who are in dire need of them. Playing is a very important part not only of childhood but in my opinion as a human being you know, as a whole to release the stresses, release the toxins and uh, to not treat life too seriously. We need some kind of play in whatever form that is. And some people unfortunately don't have that luxury. So War Child UK tries to give them as much as possible. And uh, it would be my honor to support them. So we'll be doing a charity stream on at the end of May. And at the same time that will be a, a convoy as well most probably. Truckers MP convoy. More details to follow but stay tuned. I'll give him giving you a heads up as early as now. Uh, unfortunately, it won't it won't be ideal for European uh, time because my usual trucking stream is Friday, 2 a.m. Central European time. That's with the DST shift. It's 2 a.m. for you guys, so it might not be ideal. But for you night owls, you might still be up. That might just work for you right, but yes it's ideal for those in the US because in the US it will be 8 p.m. Eastern time I believe of Thursday yeah, so for US folks that will be the 27th of May beautiful how these all these time zones work <laughs> so enjoying the sounds yet guys surely loving it i'm sure some of you will ask but which one is better because max also released some amazing mods what the heck wow see how that ai swerved right in front of us goodness thankfully we have beautiful braking system here in the next gen scania and uh, my foot is pretty good with the reflexes at the moment because I've been practicing a lot of a lot of hovering with the helicopter and my goodness that's a chore so I am a bit amped up in terms of reflexes at the moment <laughs> thankfully otherwise we would have slammed into that guy defensive driving at its finest uh, the side effect though is I lost my train of thought oh yeah uh, some people would probably be asking which one is better, Maxis or Z mods? Uh, it's a very hard question to answer because it's a very, it's very much taste based. You know, I'm, I have a bit of bias towards Z mods sounds. I really like the crispiness and the bass, the balance, and the, the liveliness of it. So I'm a bit biased about that. So if you ask me, they're very close. They're both good, but Z mods takes the cake in my books. I'm sure that will be different depending on who you ask, especially because Z Mods has a price point. It's £399. Minimum. You can increase it if you like to uh, donate more or something, but minimum is £399, I believe. And max sounds are free. So that's free versus paid. That's a very big deal, especially for some folks. So from there, I think the decision has been made for some people already. But yeah, if I had a choice, and I do, Z mods takes the cake in my book, but that's not to take anything against from Max. Max is doing amazing stuff, and his sounds are super detailed as well. 
in his are more um, how do you say open sourced in a way because the my, my main gripe about Z mod sounds even though they're the best sounding ones in my opinion they're very enclosed they're very protected you can't even open the SES file you cannot tweak the definition files you cannot make other trucks compatible with it although he did mention Zmod did mention that he'll be providing an open definition file in the future that hasn't happened yet so at the moment at this current point his mods are locked so they are only supporting the trucks that he intended to support so if you remember those previous videos I did like the the DAF uh, 95 or the DAF uh, 2F241 right by XBS and I made the Cummins N14 by Z mod compatible I was able to do that because the SCS file is unlocked that's one of his free engine sounds and his free engine sounds are unlocked so you can modify the files you can make it compatible with other trucks etc you can have a glimpse of the file structure and how it works but with these with these payware sounds at the moment you cannot do that so these sounds these next gen Scania sounds will only be available for the next gen Scania sounds and uh, the one I mentioned a while ago the I would call it a bug the bug with the Scania PNG not having the interior sounds I'm sure, 100% sure I can fix it myself. It's only a matter of correcting the definition files. I, I'm 100% sure I could fix it myself if the files were unlocked, but they aren't. So that's a no-go. So we have to wait for the update. And in comparison, Max's uh, Scania sounds are open source in that regard. You can open the SES file. And that's a very big thing because you can make it compatible with other trucks. That's one big thing, right? If, for example, there is a, I don't know, um, some other modern truck that you wouldn't mind sounding like a next-gen Scania. You know, it probably won't be 100% accurate, but that's much better than contending with the default sounds, right? Than, than living with the default sounds. At least you get Z-Mod level quality, even if accuracy is not 100%. At least it still sounds like a perfectly modern truck with amazing sounds, right? So I'm more than happy with that. That's why I like the ability of tweaking the definition files to make it compatible with any truck I like. The option lies with me. So Max's sounds have that. And number two reason, which is a very big reason at the moment, I haven't tried it myself. But I think I mentioned it to you guys last time. Calvin told me about it. Max released a video in his YouTube channel. Max2712. Look for him in YouTube. Max2712. One word. Max and the numbers 2712. He released a video where he discovered a way to make sound mods, truck sounds, truck sound mods compatible with Truckers MP it works you'll have to download a plugin you'll have to tweak some files you'll have to do a lot of stuff it's not as easy as adding the mod in the mods um, in your profile in the mods list because that's not allowed in truckers mp right so it's not it's a different way in that way actually requires you to access the bank file the dot bank file the bank file is like think of it like a, a zip file of all the actual sounds you know like the the waves or the mp3 files or whatever files they are so it's a it's a how do you say it's like the the compressed or the locked the 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 archive you could say ooh bridge take a photo here for sure this will be the thumbnail shot so uh, in order to make that tweak work that tweak with the uh, allowing sounds for the truckers MP allowing truck sound mods for truckers MP you need to have access to the bank file 
and to access the bank file you will have to open the SES file and to open the SES file it has to be unlocked so that cannot be done for Z mods unfortunately so as much as I would love to drive with these sounds in MP I don't think it will be possible but with Max's sounds it will be possible so that's uh, another point there so lots of uh, pros and cons so both versions still have their place but I'm very happy I purchased this to support Zmod so he'll do even more amazing stuff and just because I really like it <laughs> for me Zmod is still the my uh, the authority when it comes to sound recording and mixing all in one package yeah if I were to ask for anything more and uh, that might be asking for too much given how much he's been giving already I really wish for unlocked files I know he has to protect his uh, intellectual property but uh, if there is a way to unlock the files, definition files, unlock the bank or give us access to the bank file so we can use it for truckers MP that would be the best case scenario not expecting that to happen anytime soon because I'm, I'm sure I can understand that he will prioritize his intellectual property more making sure no one steals it because there are some people who will uh, I can imagine pay for the mod and then proceed with unlocking it, with uh, trying to uh, salvage the sound files and using it for their own, you know, so basically stealing it. So I can imagine why Zmod is very reluctant about that. But for us gamers who have no malicious intent, I hope we find a common ground. I hope we find a way. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay, that's a bit skimpy. Front mirror helps a lot. Okay, let's see if we can steer this sharp like so. I'm going to hit these boxes, hopefully not. So uh, even the window sounds are nice. Oh, one thing that I didn't wasn't able to replicate though. I think I saw it in this video. But I wasn't able to replicate it myself. Is that alarm when the parking brake is off? I remember Max's version has that, and I think I saw it in Z Mod's video of showcasing this sound mod. But I wasn't able to replicate it myself. We'll try it again this time when we when we shut down. I'll try to shut it down with the parking brake off. So if you notice for sure you will notice other types of sounds aside from the engine maybe there's the compressor sound or what which what not let me know in the comments it's nice to pinpoint each of those and see how they combine together into one holistic package see how easy it is to park with a true mirror fov no distorting of the picture whatsoever very nice as I say that, it won't turn green though. There you go. Good. <laughs> Lots of washing going around with this truck. I love it. Can't wait to drive more with it. Alright, so I was saying I wanted to test the parking brake. So I'll leave that off and then turn this off. Ah, oh, there is. A while ago, it wasn't triggering because my air brake simulation was off, I think. I think it's an air brake simulation um, thingy. There you go. That's why it wasn't sounding a while ago. So if you are not able to replicate that sound, parking brake off alarm, make sure your air brake simulation is on, okay? That's another watch out for you guys. Nice. Okay, cool. Right? Happy with that. Hope you guys are too. Very white truck. This paint job comes with Eugene's uh, version of the Scania. It's a, the Vabis, Vabis skin. Very nice, very sleek. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that quick video. Is that quick? Yeah, 30 minutes. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Clumsy trucking. And let me know what you think in the comments. As always, catch you soon. Bye-bye.